Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is Avian Graphics. Yes, today we are going to learn, or uh, I'm going to show you or guide you on how to apply for the Youth in ICT Training Program by the uh, the Youth Employment Agency. So on this particular destiny, we are not going to waste much of time. There is the uh, YEA registration portal. So that's the Youth Employment uh, Agency. That's their portal. And as you can see. I've just opened it up just like that and there is a whole they have three programs uh, they have three models over here this is government and apparel model and this one are artisans and this one is general models you get that and on this particular general model that is where the youth in ICT is and then those uh, let's say uh, uh, JSS graduates they have what they can learn on and SS2 they, they have uh, some kind of program they have to learn on and then uh, Tertiary students to they have a program they have to learn on. So if you are JSS, you can choose that particular one. And if you are SS student, a SS graduate, you can also choose that one. And if you are a tertiary student, you also have opportunity that you have to learn on. And as you can see, uh, this particular program is going to equip you with a whole lot of uh, knowledge and which you can even benefit it after this training you can uh, start working if you get everything all right and without wasting much of time uh, I just I wanted you to see uh, how all this is going to happen and then you'll be able to get something at the end of the day you get that yes so they have a uh, they have basic skills and this for this basic skills is for the JSS students where they will teach you how to they'll teach you Microsoft applications social media email uh, and then understanding of search engines and tools and then the section B they are going to teach you uh, and this is for the SS students. They are going to teach SS graduates rather, and then they are going to teach you a uh, mobile app development with Flutter and web design and web development with what? A uh, 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 jargon. They are going to teach you all that. And this is advanced for the uh, that section C. This one is advanced skills where they will teach the tertiary students machine learning with Python animation design and data analysis so you choose for yourself if you are a jss then you go for that and if you are ss student ss graduate you go for that and if you are tertiary students you go for that so this is cut they, they categorize it into three and you have to choose the one that you have to do so first of all what we need to do is to go uh you you should link go with this particular link which is https apply.yee.gov.g.g that is what i've already done when you do that that is what you are going to see there is the first this thing a uh, uh, portal that you are going to see that is how it is you get that so what you need to do is to come and click on this model there is the general model you click on that then when you click on that you wait for a little bit for it to link up that particular next page which is the registration page and that is the uh, they call it trad uh, client traditional uh, registration that is where you are going to start your registration you get that and the registration is very very simple you don't need to waste much of time in doing that it is just simple and you can also just use your phone and do that or your computer and get it done with very very easy you get that yes so we are waiting for the the registration uh, uh form to come up then we go ahead and do our what our registration we are just going to put in those kind of things you get that so over here that is what you can see you get that registration change your model or edit your data print receipt you get that so that is where we have to click to do the registration and if we maybe you change your mind of changing the frame model and that is where you are going to come this is change of uh, this no or you want to make an, an edit that is where you have to do that and print your receipt after registration the form you can print it out and this is the short listed uh, short list letter and this one after the process everything if they choose and you are likely you have received a message that you have been picked 
and that is where you have to come and do what you have to come and do that yes and there's the engagement letter they'll give you an engagement letter before you start and there's the baseline survey they will do you all this and all that you get that so first of all we want to learn how to, we want to i want to guide you to register so i have to click on registration yes so when i click on the registration it will open up the models uh, the yea models for me to put in my details you get that yes so let us wait for that to be done so that we can just put in our basic details it doesn't need more distance and it's just uh, uh wrap up with that you get that yes so let's wait so over here we have step one and then step one they ask your first name so my first name is alasan you get that so i'm just going to type in what alasan there and then i can move on to the next distance so there is Alasan, and the next one is uh, the last name, which is Abdul Rahim. You get that? Yes, Abdul Rahim, just like this. You get that? Yes, and that's good. And the next thing, other name, if you have other name, you can put it there. And then Ghana card pin, you can put your Ghana card pin without. Uh, they said, please enter only the tickets, ignore the GH. So you just put only the numbers there and ignore this particular G there. Don't put the G, just put the numbers only. I don't have Ghana card, so I have to leave it and that is okay for me. So over here they have to, they ask you to put your your what your date of birth. So let me say seven uh April nineteen seven April nineteen ninety six. You get that. And that is okay for me and over there they ask for email address if you have email address then you put it there if you don't have email address no problem and over here they ask for your sex i am male and i put that one residential address uh residential address let me just put in this particular distance Kwane, opposite barbara is my nine that's my residential address and that's okay for me and over here they ask for your gp address if you have one you can put there if you don't have no problem but i have my gp address which is uh uh ns does uh north south brother yes and then uh i have a uh, 751 and then i have my dash and i have 8207 that is my gp address where you can use to find me and town you can put tamale or any place that you are from and the region northern region you can put any region there you can choose any region they have a whole lot of regions there uh, all the system regions are there so the district you can choose uh, your district you get that your district so i'm from sanaro municipal let me just put that one there and that ends that problem the next thing you have to do is to click next to go to the next page so this is the next page so over here they ask for a mumu network so my mumu network is what mtn and i'm going to put my phone number 055 9220 868 and this one they ask you please enter only a registered mumu number linked to your ghana card you get that so you have that particular number you are putting in should have a a mumu on it it should be registered on mumu you get that next of kin my next of kin is my first son abdul rahim abdul rahim uh, and that's okay for me and that is okay uh, uh, full number of next of kin okay let me just put my the same number over there my phone number because he's still uh, child he doesn't uh, have a phone so i put my phone number there and then please select a model so over here i'm going to select a model and when i click on the model i only have youth in it you get that so that is what i'm going to click on so that they can teach me what ict those kind of things so over here educational level so if you are just says graduate please choose bc okay and if you are ss graduate choose yc you get that and if you are tertiary there is all that you have to choose on you get that you can choose here 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 no problem you get that so you check through your level then you put that your educational level you put it that over there or you can just decide to say any it certificate so i have any i i have this particular it certificate so i can decide to choose this 
you get that so when i choose that that is where they will now ask me for basic intermediate uh, advanced you get that so over here because i want to you can also uh, maybe you have the knowledge in it but you don't have a certificate so you can just decide to put yourself into any of this category you, you get that so i'm going to choose wasi and when i choose wasi i'll decide to use uh, intermediate where they'll start me over here you get that and then i'll say i'll come and click i'll come and accept the form by saying i do buy i do hereby declare that uh, to the best of my knowledge and information given in the application is what is correct you get that and if you are okay with the all the registration all what you need to do is to what save and submit so i'm clicking on save and submit you get that yes so when i click on that uh they will save it and they will do what they will submit the form for me to what to see so let's wait it's still linking up and it's it's just very easy uh, and it, you don't need to waste much of time on doing this okay so let us wait for it to uh, save and submit my form to the uh, yea office so that anytime if i'm lucky and they pick me i'll be able to learn web design web development with jargon and you know a whole lot of things or if i'm a tertiary student they will teach me machine learning with python uh, animation design and a whole lot of things and if i'm uh, just graduate that is where they will teach me microsoft word and some you know i uh, i did certain things you get that yes so on this my problem over here your momo is already in our database if you have already registered for any of y model but was not translated just Click here to change the model to this current this thing. Your mobile number and your next of him was uh, must be different. You get that. So over here they are telling me that my this thing uh, because I've been registering over and over and I'm not been picking up. You get that. So that is why they are telling me that. So if you are you are not if maybe you are just a, 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 a first person registering with your first number, you won't have this particular message. But if you have been registered and you are not called maybe you you were not qualified or uh, there are certain things and they don't call you you can decide to come and what click on this uh, uh this thing to what to do the editing and all that you get that so i'm clicking on that so let me just click on that and see what they are going to tell me so over here is called when you click on that particular thing, it's called what requesting receipt page you get that so on this particular request now this uh, uh, requesting that they will show you everything that you need to know to edit those kind of thing to the current model that I've just shown you you get that so let us wait for it to come up yes so that is what they have shown us over here so my last name is uh, Abdurrahim so I'm just going to put Abdurrahim there Abdurrahim and then I put my full number 055-9220-868 and then I do what? Then I submit it. That is the easiest way to do what? To, to, to edit or to change it to the uh, this model that I'm just doing. So let us wait for it to come then we do the editing and all of that. As you can see they are telling me invalid details, no match so it may be that my details that i put in is invalid because they don't have the data again in their system you get that so if you don't have the data again in their system that is what it's going to do but let me try with alasan and see what will be the problem if i still not get it it means that my data is not with them again they have what they have cleaned it up due to maybe i was not uh shortlisted and they decide that okay we don't need this status again let us just wipe it off there are different different uh offices that is how to come out to cause after they have uh, they have chosen the people they want they don't have to keep up with the data again so they may decide to just what clean it up those database away and you will not even see it again so that but let us wait and see what uh, alasan to will happen 
it's the same thing so we don't have it again so the best way that you need to do over there is that uh, always make sure that you have not used uh, a number that is already used there, used on the uh, uh, NYT, uh, NYE uh, portal if not that is what uh, you are going to get at the end of the day you get that and always make sure that your next of kin number should be different from the phone number that you put in so you can always decide that okay even when that person you are putting in is a child he doesn't have a phone you can just request it from maybe you can just get uh, the mother's number or anybody's number to put in that particular distance you get that so over here what i have to do over here is that I'm just going to try and then uh, and then change the phone number then to see uh, what I really mean uh, let's wait a little bit okay so I'm going to change the phone number to 024 I think after changing the number over here I think I'll get what I want 14 five eight two two one you get that and that is okay for me and uh, next up here i'll put in this particular number and that's okay then i'll click over here and i'll submit so let us see now what they will tell me either they will submit it or they will submit it okay i think it, it for this one here it has to it has to submit so if you are already been registering with uh, YEA and you are not been selecting or that do, you are not you are not always part of the shortlisted if you are going to do this make sure you use different number you get that different number so over here that is what I have and my listing I have submitted this is a registration code registration code is here this is my registration code print registration or download registration so what i need to do over here is to click print registration if um i want to print it out that is what i'm going to do i'm going to click on that and when i click on that uh it will just link up for instance if i have my it office or let's say i have my printing shop and someone come to me that register a uh, why it is then for me i just have to click on that and that is the best thing and that is what they will show to me then i'll do what i'll print it straight away and that is what they will show me over here you get that so this is my printing and uh, this is what i'm going to print for the client and that is okay or i can also decide to save it in my what in my pc so anytime the person needs it again i can do what i can still get it for the person you get that so i'll just have it just like that then i'll save it i'm waiting for it to save and that ends the problem so that is how the uh, youth in it in ict registration is being done on the portal thank you very much for watching this is avian graphics and have a nice day bye bye